Hola, como estas, everybody? How you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing great today. Today, we are going to be talking about how to look polished 24-7. 24-7, don't mind that, okay? It can be hard. It can be hard sometimes not knowing what to do and you see everybody else is doing it, but you're like, dang, what is work? what can work for me? What can work for me and I don't know where to start. So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to help y'all figure out and give you ideas on what to invest in and get and feel better. Because that's what you mainly are doing this stuff for. To make yourself feel better for you. No, not for nobody else. No, not for nobody else, but for you. All right, let's get into it. Got my notes. Because I don't be remembering. So that's why I be writing it down. Me, you know, I don't always have my hair done. But just because your hair's not always done doesn't mean you cannot have your hair looking nice and presentable. Now how to get your hair nice 24-7? Figure out and invest into hairstyles that fit your face shape, okay? I just did a hairstyle that recently and I was looking into videos and I was studying what goes right with my face shape. My, as you can see, my face stays, I feel like my face shape looks weird in certain angles. I do not like it. Now, to fix what I don't like, I had to look it up. I looked up, I have like a round face. Like, I always called my face a potato head. So I'm like, I have a potato head. And then when I looked it up, round face, I was really between, I couldn't decide if I had a round face or oval face. But I, in between those, I pick round face. And I looked up hairstyles for round faces. They were saying short, but like right here type of hairstyles. I didn't like hairstyles like that. But I was like, okay, I gotta try some new things, even though I may personally personally like not like them, but I haven't tried it. So you know, let's give it a try. I didn't do a hairstyle like that, but I do remember I had a my I had braids and I cut my braids and there was that length. They actually did look good with my face shape. So I was like, okay, I can do that. And then it was a hair hairstyle that I tried out. It was, you could see it on my press on nail business. I, you see me in a video with the hairstyle in, and you can see it then. If you want to go check that out, it's her ex care on Instagram. And if you want some nails, because I did these, they look cute. <laughs> so go shop. But, anyways, it's up ponytail. It was an up bun, like a little fan bun. And then it was a curl at the side, little swoop curl. Right, it was very, very cute because I was going for the cute, mature, womany, sophisticated look. So that's what I did. It looked very cute. I looked done up, okay? And it was minimum work. I didn't, like, the only thing I have to touch up was my actual hair. That time I did not straighten my actual hair, so the texture was a little bit different, but from afar it looks very cute, right? Right. But at least I put the effort into doing it, and it actually worked. And I actually found a hairstyle that goes with my invest and figure out what goes with your face shape. Number two. Find go-to jewelry sets. Now this is a lifesaver. If you do not want to look plain Jane with your outfits, this add jewelry. Okay, add earrings, add a necklace, a bracelet. I don't have my rings on because I'm in the house. And rings. Now why they ask put that to your outfit? You look I have the sweaters in hand. Cardio for me. I'm literally hot. Gold. Get a gold set. Get a silver set. Like right now, I have a gold set going on right now. Gold, gold. My earrings. They're silver, but you can't really tell because it's small. Overall, like what can be really seen, have it match colors. Same thing for silver. Make sure these are jewelry that doesn't wear and tear easily. I used to get my stuff from the beauty supply. But now I get my stuff on Amazon. I got this necklace from Amazon. And this was a custom bracelet for an anniversary. So even if you don't have no body, which is okay, it's okay, it's perfectly fine, perfectly fine. You can still get your own set. Get your own set. It's, look, the person that wears, my boyfriend, he wears this. He wears it in the shower. He wears his necklace in the shower and nothing has happened. It's stainless and everything like that. So invest into good quality but also affordable prices basically which I got this junk from Amazon and I love it I've been getting a lot of compliments where I got it from invest into good jewelry 
It makes you look put together, look like you got your ish together. I got a lot of compliments by, oh, I love how you put yourself together. And these are things that help me have myself look put together and look like I really take care of it on an effortless level, okay? Get these go tools to make sure you do this shit effortlessly. Now, the shit that may take the work is putting in the time to look into which jewelry you like and if they actually are stainless and whatever your budget is. But that's the only thing. But once you get it, you get it and you finish your outfit with jewelry on the jewelry side and you're done. Now, when it comes to having go-tos, you should also be having go-to perfume, your go-to scents for classy occasion, social occasion, sporty occasion, working out occasion, any type of occasion, fruity occasion, classy, elegant occasion, sophisticated, grown, sexy, grown and sexy occasion. Like, have your go-to perfumes for these type of moods, these type of tones, and make it easier for your getting ready uh, routine. Like... Oh, I'm finna go on a date. Okay, I'm gonna put my sophisticated grown woman 60 perfume on. And you, I don't even have to think about it like that. Once you already assign these perfumes for the type of occasions, it makes your whole getting ready process way easier and you're gonna love it. Same thing for outfits, having your going out outfits, your go-to outfits. I have a go-to jacket, go-to cardigan, go-to social jacket. You know, like, it's, it's, it's a jacket, actually, and it's not heavy or it's not light. It's, like, in the middle. I want some weight if I'm cold. Like, literally, down to details, assign your outfits, assign these type of clothing pieces for the type of events you will wear these to and how it will make you feel. If I feel bubbly or anything, I may put a cute little pink outfit on. Like, depends on my mood. Like, I wear certain colors depending on the mood I am in. And then even if I am in a down mood, I put myself in some colorful outfits to help me be in an uppity mood. So have me in a better positive mood. And that's the trick too. Like, do that. Have a go-to outfit for running errands. Go to the gym. Go to brunch. And start walking around. Going to the mall. Have these outfits set for these events so it can be way more easier for your getting ready process. And you're not even going to have to stress anymore. Because you're like, dang, I got all this stuff down pack. Down to the detail, smell, feel, look, everything. Down pack. Because they're your go-to outfits. That doesn't mean you got to wear these outfits every day. When it comes to pieces... That's the good thing about pieces. You can switch them around. But with one pieces, I like one pieces a lot because it's a one and done. Same thing for when you have your one pieces one and done, have a go-to purse. Like, I just bought a go-to purse on off Amazon. Because I was like, bruh, I'm tired of having my tote bag. It's a little big. I want it more structured and looking nice and stuff like that. Looking new. So, I have a new purse. Or I have a purse that always looks new on you. Even if you don't like purses, wear little, you know, the, the the bags, they have a cross and it's like little. That's cute too. I haven't found me one that I really like to do that with, but I would do that. If I don't feel like wearing nothing heavy or carrying nothing, do that. Or you know the little bags that's cute, they wear it as a belt? That junk is fire. Get that one. Hey, if you don't like holding back. Prove your vocabulary. Okay, now. I know. I'm not the best. But I'm improving. What you can do, you can do it the old fashioned way if you want to, or you can learn how other people speak. You can learn vocabulary, go through vocabulary books, or you can listen to lectures that people use big words, look up them big words to see what that means. And then use it into a sentence so it can feel more familiar, get more comfortable with what it means. So if somebody try to pull that word with you and you and they're trying to make you make you lost on what they just said no you know the dang on word you know what it mean so they don't try you just like how lawyers and all this stuff use big words that you don't understand and just because you don't understand it you get them or you you um uh, put your attention on them and rely on them on what it means but you're trusting in them saying the truth about it no learn what it means to your own self so you know for sure that this person is telling you in a sense that you understand and not trying to downplay you or anything like that but overall just the invest your vocabulary how you talk because if you're confident in these words and how you speak it gives off confidence it gives off oh she knows she was shit 
I didn't know she knew that she was the shit. But just because you know you're the shit, you don't have to talk to display that. You can, before you talk, your appearance shows before that. Improve in your body and your oral hygiene. Yep. Before somebody speaks to you, they can smell you before you even get to face-to-face -face contact. Before you get face to face close, they can smell you before you even talk. Have your hygiene. Um, I have a hygiene video. Um, I think yeah, it says hygiene. It says how to keep up with your hygiene or something like that. Oh, it, it says what I use for hygiene, or it shows you what I use for hygiene. But I do have a hygiene video you guys can check out. Um, and all those things can help you on smells, odor, being odor list, like literally i'm going to tell you guys one thing apple cider vinegar that's all that's all you need to know apple cider vinegar that's all you need to know but improve on your body hygiene when somebody always comments that you smell great that's the biggest and most best compliment you can ever get like i love that compliment i love that compliment i have new perfumes i need to show you guys but i love that and you know i think i gave without this hint to make your scents more potent and last longer spray the perfume or mix the lotion or do both and mix it with a non-fragrance moisturizing lotion mix that in boom you're done you're done they're gonna smell you you're done like you, game over for them when it comes to hygiene and oral hygiene make sure that breath kicking make sure that breath that breath that's kicking right now make sure it's not kicking for them people yeah Get it together behind scenes, but make sure when people see you, your shit is together. Main problem for people's breath, I feel like, is their tongue. Like people, people will try to brush their tongue, but not in a way that is actually effective. Like me, before I got a tongue scraper, I used to brush my tongue with the brush. I never miss my tongue, and I feel like people that miss their tongue, that that that's what I feel. That's what I feel like. Because you can see it, like, you can see if it's white. You can see that it's white and just caked up. Like, that don't look good or smell good or appealing. It's not appealing. Your hygiene, your oil hygiene, right? And anybody that, anybody that has tips on how to get your teeth whiter, let me know. Besides oil pulling, I know about that and coconut oil. I know about that, but something else. I have the um, guru... Um, mouthwash that says two times, um, whitening too. But besides all that and whitening strips, besides all that, let me know. Because I need to know and let the girls know that y'all know too. Invest into body shape and your face shape. Like I said on number one, invest in your body shape and face shape. When you invest into your body shape, you feel better when you know you're 100% sure that this looks good on you. When you understand the structure and what looks good on you, you feel 100% more confident. When you know these type of pieces work for me and these type of pieces don't work for me, you know you're going to put yourself together 100% every single time. Because you know what looks good on you what doesn't. Watching videos and knowing what type of body shape you have. My body shape is like boop, boop right but then it's like boo like it goes down it's not boo it's not curve curve but it's curve it was a good curve but i know certain like if i you wear a baggy top and a baggy shorts i look like i mean like if i wear a joggers and it's not baggy like it's not airy but it's tight fitted but like you know scrunchy big a little bit and then i wear a top a tight top okay good good it looks nice it looks nice on me but if i wear that with a baggy shirt i look like a boy kind of my shape just looks bim and then a little curve like it looks bim refrigerator then curve that's what it look like because my curves is hidden up front so pay attention to the type of clothing you're wearing yes if i'm trying to get into that more sophisticated look so i'm trying to wear clothes that yes are still fitted but not too fitted where it looks like i can't breathe and I really am liking dresses that are flowy dresses too, like tight at the top, but then goes flowy at the bottom. Like I love that because it's like mm, a little sneak peek of my fit, but then at the bottom, 
you gotta imagine like you know like at the bottom it's just banging you feel more confident about it and you know more about yourself and feel good about it but i hope you guys like today's video like comment and subscribe to your cousin your picky your mama your sister your auntie your cousin yo i said auntie already your picky your fish and your cat and your dog your cat and everybody about me and i'm gonna see y'all in the next one bye